Did you hear the dumb thing I did with ZXW? Ah, yes, that thing where you trusted that people are good. Listen, I don't like I told you sewing because it's an asshole thing to do. And one of the things that I've noticed is that you can really learn a lot about people based on how they react when they have the right to react a certain way. So, you know, if you give a customer back their, their phone and the screen is a little messed up and it takes you 10 minutes to replace it, do they go, oh, yeah, sure, no worries, I understand. Or do they go, ah. They have the right to go, ah, ah. What do you do when you have that power in that moment? Do you use it to be a dick? And there's, there's something to be learned there. You know, you learn a lot about people when you see how they use power in those small ways when they get to, ch you know, when they actually have something over you. And you can learn about this in relationships as well. So, I mean, just for example with Erica, there are so many times where I've been dating somebody and there's a teeny tiniest little thing happens, like maybe I trip and I drop something that belongs to their, them or whatever that isn't even worth much. And they just act all sad for the rest of the time that we're together or something. She's riding on the back of my bike. I put a nice seat on the back of it. I wasn't used to having a seat on the back of it. What happens? The uh, bike flips over. It's just like, whoop! And we both get tossed off of it. She's laughing at the top of her lungs in the middle of the street. She has every right to say, fuck you, asshole boyfriend. But she didn't. Or there's this one case where I was in one of my favorite restaurants, Mezzetto. And I remember while I was at Mezzetto, there was this couple there. And this woman, who is the bartender that night, manages to spill some clear vodka, like a small bit of clear vodka. It was, you know, it was like a, either a shot glass, something like this, onto the guy. Giving me a free super chat, you're welcome. Thank you, Graham Varga. He spills this tiny little bit of uh, vodka onto the guy's shirt. And the guy's wearing a dress shirt. It's a nice shirt. But it's a black shirt. It's a long sleeve black shirt. This is clear vodka. It's not something that's going to leave a terrible stain or something. And she goes, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, he, here's my number. Uh, just let me know. We can, uh, we can arrange to have the dry cleaning done. I'll even, take the, I'll even take the shirt, bring it to the dry cleaners, and then return it to you. I'm so sorry this happened. She gave the guy free drinks. She comped him a meal and everything. And he was going, ah, oh, ah. Oh. And keep in mind, this is not like a gallon jug or something. This was this much vodka. About a few minutes later, she's saying, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. She's clearly like doing everything short of getting down and sucking this guy's dick to apologize and say, I'm sorry. And he goes, you know what? Like, I don't mean to be a dick, but can, like, can I speak to a manager? This really ruined my evening. Like, what the fuck more does this person have to do? She fucked up. You have the right to be a little mad. She fucked up. You have the right to be mad. She spilled something on you at a high price bar and restaurant. But things are going to happen. Careless that is going to happen. So how do you react to this little bit of non-staining alcohol being spilled on your black shirt that's not going to get a fucking stain on it? Again, it's not like a white shirt that you got tomato sauce on. It's a black shirt and vodka. Hey, I don't mean to be a dick, but can I tell so I find So I cut in, and I said, you know, you are being a dick. Like, you're saying you don't mean to be a dick while simultaneously taking action to get this woman fired who actually offered to do your dry cleaning, give you free dinner, and give you free drinks. I hope that person that's with you is your sister because I can't imagine any woman on this earth that's not bound to you by blood actually choosing to fucking date you. And then the woman starts going <laughs> and snickering under her breath, and I knew it was, it was a date because she wasn't dressed like that to go out with her brother. And the guy just, like, says, <sighs> come on, and goes out. Because that's the thing. That guy could leave Mazzetto a one-star Yelp review. You can't leave me a one-star Yelp review. Actually, now he can if he's watching because I have a business. But he didn't know my business. And that's one of the things that I enjoy doing when I go to other businesses and I see people acting like complete and total cunts like that guy, being able to just say something about it. Because the employee can't. The employee has to worry about getting fired. The employee has to worry about the one-star review. The owner has to worry about the one-star review. I don't got to worry about the fucking one-star review. You're being a dick. But the thing is, he had, the point is, he had the right to be a dick. He had the right to be a dick. What did he do when he had the right to be a dick? Did he act graciously and go, hey, I understand. Things happen. Don't worry about it. It's, it's a vodka spill on a black shirt. It's, it's going to be invisible. And if you really want to pay for the dry cleaning here, just don't worry about it. I'll get your number at the end of the evening. Thanks for offering to pay for dinner. Or did he say, I want to get you in trouble for your manager. I'm going to pretend that this ruined my evening just so that I can... You know, twist the knife in a little deeper on somebody else to try to offset the pain in my own life. And you can tell people like that. You can tell people like that from shit as basic as how they react to an iPhone screen repair. Like when you walk in and say, well, you, sh well, you say it's going to be about 15 or 20 minutes. Your website says 10. I understand that. I'm sorry. It's just I haven't eaten yet today. It's been really busy. And one of the people called in sick. Now, technically, your website says 10 minutes. It says 10 minutes. You told the customer 15 to 20, that's something different. They gotcha!
but how do they deal with that gotcha? Eh, you know, things happen. Or yeah, you know, let's talk about something while, while you're working on it. I'm just going to take a walk around the park. Or do they go, because <sighs> once you hear that noise, <sighs> <sighs> when they look away, instead of looking you in the eye as to being an asshole, that's a person you don't want in your life. 